So this tutorial is for those who are just beginning their journey with SQL, uh, who have been given a new role, for example, where SQL is necessary for uh, doing some analysis or uh, fetching some data and doing minor uh, changes to the data, that sort of thing, right? So uh, I want to give an introduction on the SQL landscape that we have today. So there are uh, many traditional SQLs available, such as MySQL, Microsoft SQL, Oracle SQL, uh, PostgreSQL, and then there are some on-cloud SQLs as well, like uh, Amazon has AWS Redshift, right? So uh, there, there are n number of SQLs available. Some are relational databases, some are non-relational databases, some are key-value databases. Um, so uh, there are there are a lot of uh, different kinds of databases, right? But what remains common is, I would say, 95% common between different uh, uh, different SQL uh, infrastructures, right, is the syntax. So if you are com confident on one of the, let's say, Microsoft SQL, you can easily translate uh, that into MySQL. For this example, for example, I'm using MySQL. Okay, so... Uh, I have this uh, before I delve into SQL. So I will go well, on the left pane. What you are seeing is the database. We, we have two databases: information schema, other one is your data code. Okay. On the top, it's basically telling you you are connected to your data codes. Okay. So, um, so what uh, what basically uh, this database contains are tables, right? Uh, we all know what tables are. Table is something like this. You have some, some columnar data, uh, columns and rows, and it's a matrix of uh, cells, right? So that's a common table. So our aim is to create one table initially and uh, replicate that uh, to a SQL server, like uh, MySQL table, okay? So for this, I have to first write create table T1, let's say. And then I want to add columns like name, which is varchar, 255. Varchar is alphanumeric, 255 is the character limit. How many characters maximum you can uh, insert into that field, okay? Name, then you have account account let's say i want to say numeric and let's keep it length 20 then we have phone which is again numeric let's say 20, 10 maybe All right uh, so that should create my initial table okay Just putting it in the manner. Okay. Now, if I click go, see, my table is created. Okay. Now, if I want to do, uh, I want to view the table and its contents. Right now, we don't have any contents. So, let me do select star from T1. Star means all. Select all from this table. So, you can see name, phone, account. These three columns are created. Now we have one other column, okay, which is DOB. So DOB, we will add it using alter statement. So alter statement we use when we want to modify the structure of the table, okay, adding columns, deleting columns, like that. So I'm going to use alter table T1 add DOB and date, right? Okay. So now if I again do select star from T1, it will show me name, phone, account, DOB. Okay. Now next step is we have table created. Now we want to insert this data. So I prepared one query beforehand. So how we can insert, I will explain the syntax in detail, but so let's say 
uh, I, I have to insert this one row, first row. Just consider first row, right? So I am inserting data, which is of type, which is in name column, right? And uh, there, since it's a string, you have to encapsulate it in single quotes, okay? And uh, you should. This is the syntax basically. You have to write values keyword into keyword. So that's the basic syntax across sequence. Second is phone number. Phone number is numeric. You don't need to add quotes. Again, account is numeric. You don't need to add quotes. Date, you have to put it in a certain format. So what I'm uh, asking it to do, there, there's a function called string to date. String to date basically allows you to write the date in any form you want and then just tell it in which format you have given it. Okay. For this, I've given August and then I've set M. Here I have given date, there's date. There's space between month and date, space between month and date, right? And similar, space between date and year, space between date and year. And percentage is what will tell it what month, day, year this is, okay? So let's try inserting these records. Okay, sorry. Um, let me do E1. data got inserted right now i want to select the data see now you have the data exactly how it was in excel this table is created and everything is available right now let's say i want to do my next operation which is i want to filter out uh, filter out those records where my name matches amit Okay, I want Amit's detail. Okay, how will I do that? I will have the same select star from T1, but I will add where clause. Where is the filtering operation? So it's a where name equal to Amit. See, you just got the record for Amit. Okay. Now, another operation I want to show you is basically um, one Let's just do select star once. So, let's say I want to see uh, you know, uh, I want to delete one record. I want to delete the ABC record because I don't need it anymore, right? How do I do that? Again, I have in like select, I have delete option. Delete from T1 where name equal to ABC. Okay, one row deleted. Again, if you do select star from T1, you, you will not see ABC record, right? So that are some very key basic operations that you do, okay? Now, there's another um, option, which is basically, you want to delete all the rows, okay, from, from the table. So for that, you can use delete from T1. Five rows deleted. All the rows that were there are gone. Okay, rows got inserted. Okay. Now let's start from T1. 
again you have all the rows. So I think those are very basic functions that I wanted to cover, like at least to get started. So hope you liked this video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe because there's more informational videos coming up. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.